Добрый день! In this video we will learn to express the idea of having in Russian. Let's say I want to say this very simple sentence in Russian. I have a sister. Well, it's very simple in English but not that simple in Russian because when we start translating word for word, I, я, but then we run into a problem once we look at the verb have because in Russian we don't have this verb. Uh-oh. <laughs> we do have it. We have verbs like emit, владеть, обладать. The problem is we don't really use them very often. They're mostly used in legal documents, like for example, realtors would be describing something, um, or something like that, but we don't use them on an everyday basis in, in sentences like this one. So instead, the structure that we use in Russian, we do express this idea of having very often, but we go to a completely different structure, and if we translate that sentence word for word into English, it will look like this. By me, there is a sister. Whoa, right? <laughs> so instead of I have a sister, we need to say by me, there is a sister. And that will be true for any noun that you have in this place. A person or a thing does matter. So we're going to start with by me. By is going to be a preposition that we're going to use. And notice how we don't have in the sentence uh, a pronoun like I. There is no I here. I is going to change to me. So it will be a different form. It won't be ya. Yeah. It will be a different form of ya, yeah, which corresponds to the English me. So what you need to know, uh, starting now, you need to learn and know from now on, is that whenever, whenever, every single time you're thinking of a sentence in English that or you see, you read, you hear, um, you're thinking of a sentence that has the verb have. And it can be in any tense, it doesn't matter. It can be have, has, had, will have, doesn't matter. Whenever the main verb is have, you need to immediately think of the pre uh, preposition u in Russian. You have to connect them right away because there is no other way of expressing this thought of having uh, rather than through this preposition u. And once you're thinking of u, you need to immediately connect it to genitive case. So this is another case. We have six cases in Russian, and u is used with the genitive case. So one more time, whenever every single time you want to say have or has or had or will have uh, in English, every single time in Russian it will be expressed with u. There are no exceptions to that. Have in English, u in Russian. And O in Russian is used only with the genitive case. So right now we're going to memorize the genitive case forms of personal pronouns. Later on we'll look at nouns. So for now you need to know that when you want to say I have, you're going to say U меня. That will be by me. You have у тебя. He has у него. She has у uh, We have у нас. We, um, you have the plural or formal. You have у вас. They have у них. So these are the forms that you have to memorize right now because to express the idea of having, you will be adding у to these forms and that's how you will be starting your sentences. So going back to our sentence, I have a sister. Every single time there is have as a verb in a sentence in English, we need to use u. Every single time you use u, we need the genitive case. So for this sentence, I need the genitive case of I, which is меня, у меня. And then to say I have a sister, у меня есть. Remember, by me, у меня, there is, есть. And if I wanted to say I don't have a sister, у меня нет. So this will be equivalent to by me. There is no. And now we need to add sister, sestra. У меня есть сестра. I'll add a couple of other notes in the next video. Это все. До свидания.